And this is a big misconception. People think that the madhab, for example, of Malik is the opinions of Imam Malik. This is a misconception, strike it out, cross it off, it's not even close. The madhab is attributed to the Imam, but in reality, the madhab goes through marahil and tabaqat. For example, Imam Abu Hanifa ta'ala, has two very famous students, Radi Abu Yusuf and Muhammad ibn Hassan al-Shaybani ta'ala. Abu Hanifa has opinions and they took it from him. Right. Then Abu Yusuf comes and makes different opinions to the opinions of Abu Hanifa. He comes across a hadith or he, he looks at the issue again and he changes his opinion. This is just tabaqatul ula, the first level. Then comes another, then comes another, then comes another and another. And each one the madhab is growing. Yes, not every person is so influential. For example, if we look at the Shafi'i Madhab, the first thing we have is Imam al-Shafi'i split his life in two parts. Al-Madhab al-Qadim and Al-Madhab al-Jadid. He has his old Madhab and his new Madhab. So al-Shafi'i is, is changing his Madhab halfway through. Then you have certain great scholars who came maybe way later in time. And those scholars were so influential to become a second Imam for the Madhab. For example, in the Madhab al-Shafi'i, Rafi'i, Imam al-Nawawi. In the Hanbali Madhab, Ibn Taymiyyah, Rahimullah. Ibn Taymiyyah comes and he just... The, a third of the madhab is gone. The point is the madhab is a living thing. It's not Imam Malik, Imam Ahmed. It's them and their students and their student students and their student students and these key figures that come along. There's ikhtilaf inside the madhab. That's the next misconception that the madhab is one qawl. Inside the madhab, you have these hundreds, if not thousands of scholars. Of course, they don't agree on everything. And so you have ikhtilaf. And often the ikhtilaf is again brought back to key figures. For example, whose opinion do you take in this? Are you taking the qawl of Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah in this issue? Or are you going with the traditional qawl in the madhab that was before that? So this is important, Kwani. We know that the madhab, it doesn't stay stale. In fact, any madhab that stayed stale, the madhab died. Hold on, the madhab died. Does that mean there were more than four madhahib? Ikhwani, the number of madhahib fiqhiyya, yani no one can count it except Allah. Because in the beginning, people had many scholars they went to. It wasn't like everyone in the world was going to those four imams and their students. They weren't in the beginning. They had many different scholars and those scholars went outside of the, the madhab. And some of the madhahib kind of stayed semi-famous like a zahiriya. The point is the madhahib were many, many madhahib. 